Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are Ross, Laura, Joshua, and Noah. And on a normal day, we're sailing around the Greek islands, documenting our travels along the way. Leave us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. After the trials and tribulations of season three, we left our troubles behind us and made a fresh start to season four. We showed you our journey, sailing the long scenic passage crossing the whole of Greece to the Ionian Islands. Having already enjoyed the delights of Zakynthos, it was time to venture to Kefalonia. So guys, we just dropped the hook over here and it's looking very nice. This is called Paleo Stafada Beach. It's great for if you've got southerly winds, We've got a little bit of southwesterly swell rolling in and we are just tucked inside these rocks and cliffs here. I think it's going to be nice and comfortable. Got plenty of options here in Argostoli. There's marinas, ports, all sorts where we can change locations to or, or head to if the weather changes. So yeah, feeling quite relaxed about this one. It's probably the worst thing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, good place to get some work done and relax, swim, paddleboard, and chill out a bit. Now the next morning since we dropped the hook here at Palio Stafida and it's so gorgeous here. You right Noah? Yep. So this is our current setup. Looks pretty perfect, eh? It ain't quite perfect though. It's very, very calm at the moment. However, we have had the worst night's sleep because we had side swell all night. Which if anyone who sails has ever experienced you will know it's like sleeping in a ticking clock you wouldn't think it now but we were rocking and rolling last night not in a good way how's the water now it's good yeah yeah yes why are you looking at me because <laughs> you're funny show us a dive then my eyes will hurt all right we'll have a game of i believe i can fly then okay now you'll die Table! <laughs> That just scared the hell out of Ronnie. I'll show you uh, the view from the bow, but Laura's currently filming another boat fit workout. Hi guys, welcome back to Boat Fit. We are in this beautiful spot on the island of Kefalonia today, and I've got a bit of a special workout for you too. If you've not been over there yet, we've got another YouTube channel called Boat Fit, and it's purely a fitness channel, which Laura is doing the vast majority of. So if you want to stay fit from home, on the move, traveling, or if you're on a boat, she's got a load of videos you can watch for free. So go head over and check it out. Well, that went all right. Managed to get the workout done. The boys have finished their homeschool and Ross has done another day of editing. Um, now headed into Argostoli, which is the main port area here of Kefalonia. Just to check it out really, because we may or may not move there before the winds come on the weekend. But I like to check things out before we do, because then it just doesn't waste time or fuel. And I like a bit of a walk. So we're going there now. We'll see you on the way. this beach to Argostoli <laughs> just realizing now but luckily Kefalonia is very pretty so far it feels a little bit more upmarket than Sakynthos. Sakynthos is still my face. That's because we've only, only been here five minutes though isn't it? It takes a while to get to know a place. Lots of 
funny is, Ross is doing this whole journey that we're doing on the tender. Because he doesn't like walking and he absolutely loves that flipping tender. So me and Josh are cutting across the coast and he is going the four mile round trip. We'll be doing it about the same amount of time. Oh, this is really pretty. Result. So we've just found an amazing massive square that the boys can pick a football around or go on the skateboard in. Somewhere where mummy can work out, a park, and somewhere that we can get here off, nice cheap, and probably beer. So Ross is now on his way around on Holly Blue because it is just brilliant here. It's perfect and I think it's a better spot for getting work done. And no ways. So no chicken clocks tonight. So we've just had to abandon our anchorage. It's not too bad here, but we had 20 knots coming straight into the bay. We only had about half a meter under the keel. So I was like, let's just cut and run. It's only me and Noah. We're gonna to go to the port, fill up water and everything else. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it yet with just me and Noah. Do you think he's old enough to drop the anchor? That's what I'm debating. Right, yeah. Yeah. Is that a port around the corner? Yeah, it's a port around the corner. That's so much nicer going with the wind. Hey, first mate, and the only other person on board. How are we doing? We're doing good. We're almost at the port, and I bet I'm going to just there. Yeah, and guess what? what? We're going to go get some food once we're parked up. So the big ferry is here and I guess that'll be on your right when you come in. This is how big the bay is and there's all the boats in the bay. So there's like a spot there and we're just sitting under a tree here. They're nearly here. There's a few spots left in the bay, but my phone is almost completely out of battery. So I might not catch them. Oh, oh, I see the butterfly. This should be interesting. Ross has got Noah, the cat, and he's got a drop anchor on his own. There's Noah up on deck. I wonder if he's going to press the anchor button. Oh, no way. That would be very, very cool. It's just helping him. Well, we made it. Uh, Laura's going to show us where we're going to have dinner. These two, they need to run around that square. They do, don't they? You look nice. Josh is over in a square, but he's having a blast, so it's fine. Yamas. Yamas. So Woo! Not sink in the boat. Yamas, Noah. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Local wine, Cephalonian. Is it good? Is it all wine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Josh is grabbing a bit of socialising, a bit of football. I got one, Laura. Oh, yeah. What's the definition of torture? Stick a birdcage in a tree. That really is. What a certain free. And if a balance come wrong. Wow. And then on but I'm gonna hold you. Nice so what have we got, Laura? Well I've got a pizza, I've got a feta cheese salad. <laughs> Josh has got a <laughs> feta cheese salad. <laughs> Laura's having pizza. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh he's coming now. I've got Hiros chicken skewer. Why yellow dress? I have no idea where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Until you saw the sunshine yeah, on a I table. Wore it just so that when you came, when you needed to find me, you could find me. That's exactly why I wore it. Hello, mate. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, sir, Celia. excited this morning guys 
we might actually get to see some turtles today because I've had a bit of a tip off that over in the south end of the port, a fisherman comes along every morning and feeds the turtles with scraps. So I'm really hoping that the fishing boat that the boys have just spotted is that guy. So we're gonna get on the tender now and race over there. I keep thinking I see them everywhere in the water and I think we should go for a little bit of a walk afterwards because there's a Not bridge. Again. No, it'll be a nice walk this time and it's a bit cooler today. There's a bridge over there. There they are, look, Josh, in the water over there. I just saw a big one. Calimera. The turtles are here and guys, do you want to come around and take a look? We have to wait. There's one there. Look at that massive one down there. See it? Wow. I'll see if I can find another one. Over here, guys. Look. Look at that dude. He's absolutely massive. <laughs> wow. Look at him. They're called loggerheads. I've never seen a turtle. Turtles are so slow. Yeah, well, it's taking some keeping up. They're slow and wild. Let's see if we can find some more. Yeah. Oh, better still. Boys, do you want to feed the, feed, feed the turtle with it? The fisherman's just given Josh a fish to feed the turtle with. Here he comes. He's going to come around for it. Wow. <sighs> Noah's got one as well. It's still alive. It's still twitching. It's all right. It won't be in a minute. Check in for the turtle. Oh, wow. Oh, look at him go. Guys, I've just bumped into this lovely lady called Lucy. She is actually volunteering to help out with uh, turtle conservation here in Catalonia, aren't you? Guys, Lucy's going to teach us something about this turtle. You can tell she's a female because she's got um, a very small tail. Um, oh. The males tend to have like quite large, like thick tails. Right, okay. And it's, it's coming up to nesting season now. Some of my friends are searching the beaches. Okay. And some uh, turtle tracks. Right. Found the first nest across the island. So it's quite exciting now because they're all going to be coming in. Oh, and then there'll be baby turtles baby soon turtles. as well. Amazing. Could you give us one thing that we could do as tourists and visitors to the beaches that would help conserve the turtles? Like the most important thing you could think of. So um, we're trying to reduce plastic waste on beaches. Of course, um, yeah, that's a big a one. Beach cleaning and everything. Also, just like trying to stay away from beaches at night and avoiding like beach bars and stuff. The lights from the beach bars can also can distract the big turtles if they're hatching. Oh my gosh, did not um, know that. They'll go the opposite way because they're, they're, they're drawn to the moon light. So if there's beach bars um, and like bright lights, they'll go there instead of the sea. Um, okay, so discourage beach bars. Anything else you can think of? Just like being careful around them, like maybe trying to be like quite quiet as well because yeah. they're very like sensitive to sound. Oh, we've noticed that because I paddle board and yeah. uh, my husband actually went out this morning yeah. and the minute that the turtle saw him, he was like gone. Yeah. So, oh, that's really yeah, wonderful. Yeah. How amazing, boys. You just got a real life lesson from a proper conservationist. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lucy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Say goodbye then, Noah. Say yasas, kalimera. Yes, that's Calimera. It's a flipper. It's actually an estuary. Look, guys, they look fun. This would be the perfect spot to go for a nice morning run. Gorgeous bridge, and it's totally flattened. I don't know about you, but I don't like running up hills. Okay, so we're heading back to Holly Glee now, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of information about this bridge. This is called the Bossett Bridge, and it's one of the largest historical stone bridges in Europe. And it is very beautiful and perfect for a stroll. Taxi. Well, we're back on the boat now, and it's safe to say that was an epic morning. Now it's time to eat. So, cold pizza, anyone? Yes, mum. Breakfast of champions. Thanks so much. Well, the time for the lonely ones. Thought every dog had its day. Well, the time for the wicked, the hungry, and the
the grave Ain't no time left to pretend The car is on its way Somebody call the cat in We don't need another stray If everybody had an answer Due to form, the winds have changed on us. <laughs> and what was uh, an incredibly calm anchor as this morning is now quite the opposite. And we've already dragged anchor once. Yeah, can you get your paddleboard out of the water, please? Yeah, I've got to get the paddleboard out of the water because we're moving. Okay, so I've brought the paddleboard in, Ross is back, and we're moving. Just got to grab a new line, and then we're going to head over to this disused marina over here. It's like a ghost marina, so this should be interesting, but it's well protected. I want you to step off the boat and take, and take that line. Right, OK. And I'll do everything on the boat. We're going to go alongside, guys. Right, we're about to head in. So I need to get up an anchor. Box has set the lines. And we'll probably just see you on the other side. We nailed it. We weren't the only boat that dragged that day, so it's good to know that this abandoned marina is a safe haven and a great option in higher winds. Although in somewhat of a sad state at the moment, you can't help but feel at peace here. There's something about having hardly anyone around, seeing the old boats scattered around with all the maritime tails locked within, and the beautiful sundowner sessions to be enjoyed each and every night. Watch your whiskey. <laughs> Throw him in one day. No, you won't. Throw me in. Wait, I got to be my favorite. Say again, what do you say? If I don't throw him in, I'll still be his favorite. That's what I said. <laughs> no, I said if he... <laughs> Many, many, many years ago, before humanity, turtles moved onto land and actually moved out of their own shells. To become what? Lizards. And then those lizards evolved into herbivore dinosaurs. Then carnival dinosaurs, asteroid hits the world, rain of mammals, meerkats, apes, dumb Neanderthals, smart humans, the death of Earth. But Reg are you predicting the future now, Noah? No, uh, you're definitely like you're back a few stages, aren't you? You're dumb like, Neanderthal. You, no, you're the one before dumb Neanderthal. You are a dumb Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, I second that. At least I've got there. <laughs> you haven't even got there yet. You're still like a bloody one cell. They're so nice to each other. <laughs> Is it a father son thing? <laughs> In the mornings, you can go for a paddle or enjoy a daily trek over its infamous bridge to hit the shops of Argostoli for the last time to fill the boat up with food. How did those get in there? <laughs> in preparation for our next spell of anchor life. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, so heavy. Finally, it was time to leave, and we set the course south in order to find our next piece of paradise, before heading east towards the more popular anchorages of this beautiful island. In the air of time, no 
space to drop anchor. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard to pick a spot. We're absolutely spoiled for choice here. We don't even know where to put the anchor. You could just dump it anywhere and you'd probably be fine. Oh, I really like the Ionian. <laughs> I really like the Ionian. Oh. Oh, that was close. Good job we got time. <laughs> Whoops. I was so busy trying to find a spot that I forgot to undo the shackle. Whoops. Yeah, it's because I'm spoiled for choice. Let's try again. My oh, tear hit the floor. Yep. Bye-bye. You gonna check the anchor for me? Yeah. You going like that, are you? <laughs> oh, exactly. Um, bad in the snorkel mask because um, with snorkel mask, like Josh's got over there, yeah, you can only breathe with your mouth. That's the thing. Ah, and you can breathe through your nose with the other one. You do look like a dude in it, like a space dude. Yeah. I prefer this one. Good day. There seems to be a lot of families and children over there. That'd be nice for the boys. Okay. We can see Holly Blue as well. In the shade, please. Lovely spot, isn't it? Yamas. 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 Yamas, Noah. Yamas. Yamas. So we've just had <laughs> the food. <laughs> full on dinner, massive, everything, bolognese, the sake, Greek salad, the lot. Devoured it and, and I was so it. hungry so, I forgot to film it. Like, we basically <laughs> just demolished everything. But we have just been given um homemade limoncello. So you will get to see us consume this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Please mm. like. Subscribe. Yeah. 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 Smash the notifications bell if you want to see me drink ten more of these. <laughs> <laughs> and then go skinny dipping. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we 